Okay, so the extermination is coming in six months instead of a year. No big deal, just a little setback. Nothing we can't handle, just angels cutting our timetable in half, but who needs a whole year to save souls, am I right? And next time when they cut the time in half again, and again, we'll just handle it, right? Yes, we will. Oh, please. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. And now, ain't no silver lining this time, toots. Sure there is. We just have to look a little harder for it. Well, while you're looking, the rest of hell is going nuts. People are already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the Doomsday District. Uh, what is a donkey show? Oh, yeah, uh, nothing. My boss, Val, is just freaked out about the news, too. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah, that's true. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. <gasps> this is the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Cute idea and all. But are you really gonna go out in all of this? Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. <laughs> Show yourself, Alistair! Come and face it! Oh, there you are. Face my wrath! Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I am the great serpentious inventor, architect of destruction, villain extraordinaire! Ooh, you tell him, boss. <gasps> Ooh, he's a bad boy. Ha! Huh. Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. I attacked you literally last week. We've done battle, like, 20 times. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! Now, power! For when I've slain you, the almighty Vs will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Ooh! Wait, who are the Vs? Oh, nobody important. New Vox Tech Designer Voyeur Scopes. Peeping on the neighbors has never been more stylish. Vox Tech. Trust us, your money. This week's episode of Yeah, I Fucked Your Sister, So What? is brought to you by Vox Tech. Trust us with your entertainment. Vox Tech. Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. Trust us. Now that's good television. Hello there, Velvet. How are you this hellish morning? Oh, cut the shit, boss. I need you up here now. <laughs> Whatever could be the problem, my dear. Your little boy toy is wrecking my department while I'm trying to pull together a show. And fucking bitch, just get your ass here now. Damn it, Valentino. <sighs> Oh, yeah, and here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck my life. <laughs> Mr. Vox, what are your thoughts on the new extermination deadline? My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront of innovation. And now, with this new oncoming threat, we are shifting our focus to your protection. We are pleased to announce Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. Trust us with your safety. Mm -mm. Sir, uh, what did we begin working on angelic security? 30 seconds ago. Try to get that bitch Carmilla on the books and cancel all my appointments today. I have a fire to put out upstairs. <laughs> Unacceptable. You're fired. What is this? Wrist ruffles? Is it 1750? Burn it like the witches who wore it. <laughs> oh, Velvet, I can see you're busy. Tell me, where's our hot-headed friend now? Up in his tower, waiting for a flat-faced prince to calm him down. <sighs> and, uh... What's got him so out of sorts today? Who knows? But he tore up my best model. And you know the show can't wait for that unlucky bitch to pull herself back together. Melissa, get over here! No, no, hideous. I want to die. Ew! Yes, that's the one. Oh, well, looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do. Fuck you! Now, shoo! Take care of the piss baby. Fuck 
fucking finally! Ugh. Kitty, another drink! Can you believe what that piece of shit did? The ungrateful whore! Um, which whore are we talking about this time? Fucking angel dust! Who the hell else would I be talking about? That fucking slut walked out on me. Me! I fucking made him! Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining holes. Uh, Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can just walk in here, work, and then go home somewhere else? Can you fucking believe that? He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Angel is living with Lucifer's daughter now? Yeah, that bitch Chalky or Chandler. Or I don't know, something mannish like that. She's got this hotel and which of these makes me look sexier? <laughs> what are you doing, Val? You're not going over there. That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. I'm going to fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear to God. Val! <laughs> Think about it. Our brand is perfection. And what do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Uh, fuck it up? Right! Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? No. Exactly. And hey, you still have him under contract. He isn't going anywhere. So you should... Do nothing? Great idea! Now that's why they pay you the big bucks. I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, you know me too well. <laughs> you know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the devil's princesa. Oh, who else is there? Someone who owes you money? <laughs> Someone who owes us much more than money. The radio demon is there. <laughs> What did you just say? You heard me. Alistair came back, and he is with Lucifer's daughter, and that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Hey, killing Alistair is your kink. Please! Alistair, I think he's had enough! Nah, he's got a few more hits in him. Thanks for another forgettable experience. Thank you for letting your guard down! Ah, ah. Oh shit! Well, it looks as though I need a visit to the tailor. Best of luck, chums! Wait, you're leaving? Alistair, we need your help. We need you to do your job. We need a wall. Of course! Can't let my new project fall into disrepair already. What would the paper say? <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks. What you doing later? I love me a man with a giant tool. See? Look at how he flirts with that guy, and he's not even paying! Who is that? I'm gonna fucking kill this whole fucking family! Fox? Fox! That fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good, too. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time? Uh, fuck you. Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now. <laughs> Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! Camera speeds, rolling in three. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has-been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven-year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward! You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewers impossible. I'm visual, he's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations. Good to be back on the air. Yes, I know it's been
been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice! What a dated voice! Instead of a clout-chasing, mediocre video podcast. Is Locke's insecure, pursuing allure, living between this fat and that? Is nothing working? Ignore his chirping! Every day he's got a new format! You're looking at the future! He's the shit that comes before that! Is Locke's as strong as he purports, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other V. Is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Hold on. I said no, and now he's busy. That's the tea. You old tiny prick. I'll show you suffering. Uh oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs>